might be sugar and spice and everything nice, but according to The Long Shots, the latest movie from hip-hop icon Ice Cube, they can also be gridiron great. The BET Honors pays tribute to a wide range of high achievers, from the worlds of music all the way to politics. In the 1980s, oil prices made it profitable to drill here, and the town began to thrive. But when oil prices suddenly collapsed, the boom ended as quickly as it started. Hi everyone, I'm Sharon Carpenter and I'm here at rehearsals for Rip the Runway where it's all about music moving fashion forward. Now I'm going to be ripping the runway myself which is definitely not as easy as it looks. Why don't you show me how it's really done? Okay, posture, black shoulders. Nice job, <laughs> nice job. Naomi needs to look out. Now I'm off to a fitting with none other than Gavin Douglas. Who knew you could make shoes out of salmon skin? We're here in LA at the Shrine Auditorium where the energy is crazy right now. All the stars have been hanging out backstage and giving live interviews from the radio remote room. Let's go to Terrence and Sharon in Philly. Yeah. We're hitting cities across the country, cities that have some of the lowest levels of registered voters. And the crazy thing is like Q45 and Takara, they told me I think I'll get more people registered to uh, vote than me. No, Do you I see Sharon so. smile over here? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out. Now, Tatiana, the last time I saw you was at the Democratic National Convention. Yeah. You were actually a campaign surrogate for Obama's campaign. Tell yeah, us yeah. about that. So you look like a real pro with the uh, tennis ball out there. You play tennis as well. No, actually, I play soccer, football. How's the experience been, being Indiana Jones once again, 19 years later? fabulous. Uh, I love making movies that people want to see. Is the country ready for a black Bond? This should be a black James Bond, and it should be a black Superman. I know there must be some affirmative action up in there somewhere. Can I mean, you do a British accent, though? I'm going to be Black Bond from Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was quite a challenging role, right? Yeah. Because uh, Essa James actually had a history of fighting drug addiction. Yes. How did you prepare for that, and what were those scenes like? It was a, a very challenging role, but it was the most fulfilling role I've ever done. We have Sharon Carpenter here from BET News to try to understand the scope of this terrible disaster. Sharon? Well, Haiti is reeling from a catastrophic 7.0 earthquake that occurred Tuesday just 10 miles from the nation's capital, Port-au-Prince. When did you decide to run for president of Haiti? After January 12th, uh, the day after the quake, I went with my wife, a couple of friends, picking up bodies on the ground. I felt that I had to be of service to my country. You obviously have a lot of supporters in Haiti and around the world who love you for your music, but do you think they will be able to take you seriously as a, a political candidate? People will take it seriously when they start to see change. The rate of violent crime here at the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe Reservation has been as high as eight times the national average. Here and at other reservations across the country, women have all too often been the target, heavily victimized by domestic violence and sexual assault. I'm here in LA at the center of a real tragedy. Michael Jackson has been pronounced dead at the age of 50. Now around 1 p.m. today, he was rushed to UCLA Medical Center. He was said to be in full cardiac arrest. Now a car belonging to the doctor or his assistant was found outside Michael Jackson's LA home. This car has been impounded and reportedly could contain medication that could be pertinent to this investigation. Outside Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California, where in a matter of hours, Michael Jackson will be laid to rest. Now, it's been over two and a half months since Michael Jackson passed away suddenly, and now his family members are finally gonna have the opportunity to say their last goodbyes. Clearly devastated by his death, the children seem to find comfort in the arms of the Jackson family, including their grandma, Mother Catherine Jackson, who was granted temporary custody. They're okay, they're happy that they're with us. When Michael Jackson died at the age of 50, he was in the middle of rehearsing for a 50-show run of stadium concerts to be held in London this summer. Although Jackson had not released an album in eight years when tickets for his London shows went on sale, they completely sold out within a matter of hours. Michael Jackson's talent and spirit will certainly be missed. From all of us at BET News, thanks for watching.